Hello, I'm Jonah. This is my arc. And today, the only thing that has in happened that's interesting is I got this package in the mail. And what this is, is pit tags, or they are pit tags. And I will talk about these maybe in more in detail. But these are pit tags, and they will be injected into some of my turtles. So in Ohio, in the lovely state of Ohio where it's very cold and northern or somewhat I don't know anyway in Ohio you need to have your native turtles pit tagged now I did not realize this until I owned many native turtles because I take in turtles as I said in the first video of this channel I guess kind of I don't know the first video I own turtles, and they're native turtles. There's two uh, Oshita map turtles, or Washita map turtles, and then I have one, two, three, four red-eared sliders, and those are all considered native turtles. Then I have a yellow boy slider, which is a native to the U.S., but is not native to Ohio specifically, and then the same thing goes for the western painted turtle. While painted turtles are native, western painted turtles are not. So... The turtles that are over four inches that you have in captivity that you can prove didn't come from the wild need to be pit tagged. And if they are from the wild, then you're not supposed to have them. But I'm not entirely sure how that works because I know if, if you do have them and you have them for over 30 days, then they can't be released again. So I assume then they get pit tagged. But essentially from what I've been told is as long as I truly believe these were not taken from the wild, which I, I do truly believe that. The people that I got the Oshita map turtles from, they said that they bought them and they had a picture of them as little tiny babies. So I'm gonna believe them. And they had a pretty elaborate setup going on. They gave me like a ton of stuff. Actually this 125 gallon when they gave me the Washita map turtles, but they did not inform me that I needed a permit to keep them. I'll get into that in a second. And then with the redhead sliders, Anybody that keeps red sliders doesn't know that you need a permit, but you do. So to get a permit, I need to pit tag my turtle. So I was, the wildlife officer got me in contact with somebody who sold me the pit tags. Then they arrived today and here they are. And then I will inject them and I'll do a video about how to do that probably, or maybe I won't. I don't know. I have another channel that I do more in depth videos. I plan on doing a video for that. I don't know if I'll upload it onto here or whatever but we'll kind of just see. But that's what happened today. And that's some information on pit tagging your turtles. Hopefully this is helpful. I didn't know about any of this and I'm glad I do now. And yeah, I'll pit tag these in the future. Uh, I've been Jonah and this is my arc. I hope you enjoyed.